everybody here. We have an enormous turnout today and probably the best lot of exhibits I've seen for ages. Really, it is marvellous. I've got a page full of, of uh, exhibit names here. Thank you, what do you What do you think, Doug, that the, um, that the reason is that there is, again, so much activity suddenly started? Because last years it exploded more or less, isn't it? Yes. I think to some extent it's because we have the CDs published. The, which, which you processed, which have given people a standard uh, reference point to work from uh, in terms of uh, resolution and the clarity and so on. Doug, we, uh, we see here some, I think, rather old equipment. What is it? Uh, first of all, the mirror drum camera was one built by Stan Kujawinski. Uh, he's not very well known to the club now because he was the one of their first members. Uh, and that was built 1977, and at its time it was the best camera ever made by the club. Very sensitive, using a photo transistor and uh, a 32 uh, mirror drum. Okay. Very sensitive. And the other? Uh, this one is uh, an aperture drum camera. In other words, uh, it's a different form of the uh, Nipcock disc, basically. And this one's interesting because it was the first camera on which Malcolm Baird uh, Baird's son was able to see a 30 line picture which was shown to him in uh, not Leeds, a uh, little place near Leeds called Bingley. And what, what, what moment, how long ago? Uh, that will be about 10 years ago. Okay, 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Derek Aldridge unfortunately uh, died a few years ago and this is bequeathed to the club. Okay, yes, thank you. Uh, do you want me to show the book? This is my book. Well. <laughs> Well, Russell, maybe you know that we make every year a CD. Yes. And the recordings for this CD we make on the convention. Yes. And this is now. <laughs> yes, I can, I'd rather gather that. And you have, you have, you have, you've written a book. What, yes. what is it about? This is a biography of John Logie Baird, and it came out this January. Yes. So uh, I'm expecting good sales, but um, I'm not sure whether the price will put a lot of people off because um, this is published by the IEE's publishing division. Well, they are it, normally not too and, expensive. And um, it's about £60. Oh, there is still so, a lot. So yes. um, it's a lot of money. So I'm not expecting good sales, but um, I hope that people can borrow it and read it and, uh, of course, enjoy it. For who did you write this book? Um, for the person interested in, um, in bed and also um, people who are interested in the history of television. So, in fact, it's a history book. It's um, it's a biography. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be um, it's supposed to be a, a scholarly biography, rather than uh, what we would call uh, in English a pot boiler. Okay. A pot boiler is uh, a book that um, an author writes simply make money quickly. Yes. Um, this um, I would like to think is a work of scholarship, and it has many many references in here, and uh, there's a lot of new material which hasn't already appeared in other books on bed. Um, there's material on colour television, for example. There's material on um, his work on cinema television. All, all Baird's patterns are oh, listed here. Yes. We're all 177. Lots of references. And um, many, many references, yes. as you see here. Oh, yes. And one thing that I've included, which has not yet appeared in any book, is, um, oh, when, about 18 months ago, um, a number of letters were discovered um, written between Baird and his first business associate, uh, Will Day. And these were auctioned at Christie's. I think, um, oh, time goes up quickly, rather more than a year ago, yeah. and uh, they made over £70,000. And um, I've included traces of these letters in this book, so these have never ever been published before. So that is something um, really else new. which is new, yes. Okay. And uh, so it's a lot of new material, and um, including, there we are, those are the various uh, precies of the letters, yes. and uh, all that is new. And the other material which is new, apart from what I've already mentioned, Baird's college record, that's never ever been published before. And um, these articles that Baird wrote when he was a student at the Royal Technical College. So all those are new. So there's a great deal of new material and um, lots and lots of photographs. So I hope people will enjoy it when they read it. I'm, I'm not expecting too many people to buy it, but um, I think I'm people hoping that, it's... <laughs> that are buying it. 
Yes. You'll enjoy it very much. Yes, very good. Yes. Okay, no. thank you very much. You're welcome. David, what are you showing us today? Uh, today I bought the mirror screw yes. and the mirror drum monitor. And I left the covers off so I can see what's going on. And um, well, we're just demonstrating a picture from the club CD. Yes. Uh, it's not quite in sync, but uh, I've just been uh, demonstrating to a fellow member. How long? How long did it take you to to make these things? Um, possibly about six months. Um, all made in the kitchen table. None of them engineered parts, uh, which you could really do with, uh, I think, uh, a proper workshop to set them up accurately. But um, nevertheless, I think they put up a, a reasonable performance for, uh, if you like, kitchen table technology. Um, keeps us quiet, and it's another form of uh, mechanical television which yes. I'm quite interested in. You know, Grant. Yeah. What, what things are you?